Hi guys, welcome back to your Not So Ordinary Scrapbook channel. Um, I hope everyone had a very Merry Christmas if you celebrate the holiday. Um, we did. Today is Boxing Day, the day after Christmas. And we're just kind of hanging out. Um, I thought I would show you what I got for Christmas um, that is scrapbook related um, today. Um, we have the littles here, so I don't have a lot of time. Um, the grandkid, two of the grandkids spent the night last night. So um, that was fun that we got to have them overnight on Christmas night. That's what grandma, that's what grandparents live for. So, um, so, and Scott went today, um, into Springfield and, um, to get a COVID test and he got a call that said that his surgeon tested positive for COVID. So it didn't matter what his COVID test said. Um, his surgeon tested positive. So his surgery has been, that was supposed to be tomorrow morning, has been postponed. But that is probably a good thing because he still has not fixed the pipe under the house and he's gonna be out of commission for about a month and that needs to be fixed. So I'm kind of glad that this all worked out the way it did because this week he still has off from, um, the company he works for is in shutdown right now for a week. So, um, or 10 days, I guess. And so he, he can work on that. He has about a week to fix that pipe. So I'm looking forward to that getting done so we can finally install the bathtub. We got to get it dried out under there too, but it's kind of cold right now. I think that, um, it's probably frozen under there. I am not sure any of the puddles that are under there are probably frozen, but that should not matter. I mean, we should still be able to, um, he needs to get brackets to hang that pipe too. The pipe under the tub was never like, um, there were never brackets to hold it to the foundation. Um, and we also need to do some, um, some work on the, um, the supports, um, the, the floor joists underneath the subfloor. So there are some things that need to get done, but things that he would not have been able to get done had he had surgery tomorrow. So, so that's probably a good thing that it all worked out the way it did. Um, so we had a nice holiday. Um, it was pretty laid back. We didn't, nothing major. There's never really any drama on the holiday, so we just kind of keep it light and enjoy our time together. And um, we played some games, some new games this year, um, a couple TikTok games that um, Scott's mom, in lieu of gifts, she funded um, the two games that we played. Um, we played the one where you use a spatula to scoop up dollar bills onto a plate when you're blindfolded. That was a huge hit. Everyone loved it. Um, and so we did that one. And then and then we played the cup one where there are things hidden under a cup. And you pick a cup and whatever in the cup you get to keep. Um, next year, I think we might um, put some like steal, steal another person's something. I don't know. We might, we might add to it because... Um, it was fun, but I think it could have been more fun if we, like, had to fight for a couple things. But there were, like, she bought lottery tickets or scratch-off tickets put underneath some of the cups. And there were candy under the cups, which everyone started calling them rocks. Like, like if you lifted up a cup and there was and there was candy under it and someone started, I think, I think Hunter started it and he was like, you got a rock. <laughs> and there were some, like bigger bills under there, like a $20 bill and a couple tens and some fives and stuff like that under, under some of the cups and some McDonald's gift cards, um, were under there under some of the cups and it was fun. It was fun. I think we can make that one more fun though. Like by like putting notes underneath it, like, like you lose your stash or trade with somebody else or, you know, something like that. I, it, I think that it can be made more 
fun, but um, my mother-in-law loved it. Um, usually it's really expensive for her to buy gifts and she she does have a pretty good income for um, a woman her age um, but um, she, she I think that this this is the first year without Scott's brother Brian he passed away in July and and Brian loved to play games like this he would have loved loved Christmas Eve that was like one of his favorite days of the year because he got to play games and hang out with us and stuff. So, um, so it was kind of in memory of him and that was something that she kind of wanted to do. And, and she said after, after it was all done and stuff, she said, I'm so glad that we did this. She goes, I want to do this every year. And I said, okay. I said, that sounds good to me, you know? So she never knows what to get the kids for Christmas anyway. So, um, that worked out good. Okay, so first I'm going to show you um, what I got in my stocking that was scrap scrapbook related. And then I'm going to show you what Matt and Yessie got me that was scrapbook related. And the grab bag from um, Peachy Cheap that Scott always buys me. And then Scott surprised me with a gift that I wanted for the longest time. Um, that was in my Amazon cart. It's probably been in my Amazon cart for two years and it shocked me that he got me some. So, so that's basically it. But, um, so what was in my stocking was the freckled fawn grab bag basically. And there was a, like, I didn't know what was in it. So, um, and Scott does this every year. He gets me the freckled fawn grab bag for my stocking and he gets me the peachy cheap grab bag as a gift. And um and he has done this probably for the past four or five years. Um, ever since ever since we found out about the grab bag. They always email me when you know, like this one. Um, Peachy Cheap is usually on Black Friday, and then Freckle Fawn is usually on Black Friday too. Um Peachy Cheap does do another one um, on their anniversary, and if you sign up for their email list, their email list, you will get an email from them probably every day, um, every night of like their special deals, which I don't normally take part in, um, but in those emails, like twice a year, you will get you'll get an email for the for the grab bags and they usually sell out quite quickly because the grab bags I think are like $35 and um and then it's like over a hundred dollars worth of scrapbook stuff and this one was like five five to ten dollars for a peachy cheap scrap bag and then you get like double at least double the amount so um and if you sign up for Peachy Cheap, you'll get the email for that too. So this is a washi tape that just has the days of the week. And this is really helpful for a planner because you can cut the strips. You can cut the days of the week like out and then you can use them in your planner if you use a bullet journal like I do. Um, this one is enamel dots, stars, hearts, and just dots. And here's another enamel dot, which you can't go wrong with enamel dots. I probably use that so many of these during the year. And then these, these are stars, triangles, um, some arrows, and enamel dots. And then I got some puffy stickers. These are just, these I use with enamel dots too, because they're tiny whenever I get something similar to that. And then these would be nice for the December daily because they have days leading up to the 31st. So that's kind of nice. So I'll probably just stick that in my December daily. As I come across Christmas stuff, I'm just going to stick it in my, my December daily kit because that's the first kit I'm going to work on. So this is puffy Christmas stickers. And it looks like it's Nutcracker themed. So that's kind of cute because the little kids, we got them matching Nutcracker jammies for Christmas. So um, I'll probably use some of those. My December daily for that. And then it looks like I got some letter stickers. 
So there's a light blue and a yellow. So these are like the Market Street tiles. And these are just um, a font that I like, actually. I like the thinner font versus the thicker font. A turquoise, a blush pink, and then a green. And then I'll go to Matt and Yessie. That's what I got from Matt and Yessie. So I got some die cut shapes. Um, Hello Hobby. And it doesn't have a picture of all of them. So maybe I'll just show them to you. Real quick. And this was part of my gift. I got other things from Matt and Yessie too. But this was just one of the things that they got me. It was a bunch of scrapbook stuff. So these look like their birthday birthday themed, which is nice because I, um, Matt's birthday is in December. So I can, and so is Kaysen's actually. Kaysen, Kaysen will be one years old tomorrow. Is that crazy? I cannot believe baby Kaysen will be one tomorrow. So, and he's at our house right now. So I think she's trying to, mom said that she was trying to, um, I noticed that they went to Champagne today on the 360 app. I just kind of peeked at it and um, we noticed that they were in Champagne and um, which is about an hour, hour and a half away, something like that. And um, it's closer for them than us though. Like, like they live in Clinton, so it's really only an hour for them to go to Champagne. Um, but she told me yesterday, she goes, I have nothing for his birthday. Absolutely nothing. Like nothing planned, nothing. I, I have no idea what we're gonna do for his birthday. <laughs> I'm like, it's okay. He's not gonna remember it. Like if you have it on the weekend or whatever, he's not gonna remember, so. It's his first birthday. Even if you have it two weeks from now. It's just there's a lot going on this week. You know, Kaysen's birthday is tomorrow. Scott was supposed to have surgery tomorrow. Um, and then um, Esme's hearing, court hearing is um, Friday. And then there's New Year's Eve next this coming weekend. So, so we're hoping that we can work it out so we can have her during, you know, for New Year's. But I don't know if that's going to happen or not. We'll see. Yes? I don't want you to call him. Um, I'm filming. Can you have Dad call him? Yeah, where is he? It, he is in the living room with Kaysen and jo Mini George. I don't care if Dad called you. Yeah, that's fine. Okay. Yeah. So, apparently Hunter... Hunter was trying to call me and I was filming. So. Okay, these are cute. There's a lot of them. I can use those for lots of birthday things. There's that. And then it looks like there's a Creative You sticker book. Oh, she probably got these at Hobby Lobby because Hobby Lobby is her favorite store. So I'm assuming that's probably where she got these. They're, it looks like they're all the same brand. Hello Hobby. Hello Hobby. Yeah, I don't know. It doesn't really say where it's from, but okay. So this is a sticker book. And it's got like letter stickers. Nice, it's a nice set. There's some of these, I sometimes I'll put like liquid glass on these, and then when it dries, it's they look like enamel dots, they're like dimensional. So, this could be used for like cleaner, 
cleaner or scrub again. So always remember that if you have liquid glass or you could buy some um, on Amazon or scrapbooks.com, a lot of places um, carry it. Um, you can make your own enamel dots over a st over planer stickers, Those these little tiny ones. Because I don't generally, or you could use them flat too. You don't necessarily have to make them into enamel dots unless you want to. Um, it's it, They're just not dimensional if you use them. But you can use them in the same way. Because I generally don't use those tiny stickers for like scrapbooking or for planning. These I do. Like I will use these um, for planning though. That is a planer sticker book. Some more die cuts. Oh, these are from Walmart. She didn't get them at Hobby Lobby. She got them at Walmart. Her and Matt are like, um, they are big Walmart shoppers because they met at Walmart. So it's kind of like, they both worked at Walmart. She was a manager and he was, he was a supervisor at Walmart in Lake Havasu City, Arizona, when they met and um, fell in love and then they got married. So Walmart is a special place for them. It's fun to go into Walmart in Lake Havasu City with her though, because she knows everybody and they just, you know, they stop her and they joke with her still, even though she hasn't worked there for quite a few years. since she went to school and got her um, esthetician's license. So, and became an esthetician. So, I need to call them today. We were gonna call them last night and um, to wish them Merry Christmas. We'd been texting each other all day or messaging each other all day. So it was like, um, but I didn't realize that my parents were there at the time. My parents went to their house for Christmas Eve and Christmas Day. And that was pretty cool that they spent those days with them. And then my niece, Madison, my brother Kenny's daughter, she lives um, near Phoenix, Arizona. And she, I noticed that she was there too. So she was with them too. And Madison is Hunter's age. So that's neat that she got to see Madison too. These are pretty. I like them. These would make really pretty shakers. So it's like a floral pack. There's the thank you. Really pretty. that and these are pop-up cards so I will probably not use these as cards because I don't generally make greeting cards unless I have to um, for like a uh, reason um, like I made one for uh, a sympathy card and then I made a um, I made a sympathy card and I made a um, a birthday card recently so I'll just take these apart and I'll use them in my scrapbooking. So there's some florals, of course, I can use. There's a lot of florals, actually. These are really pretty. Different colors, too. Looks like they can be folded, like, to be three-dimensional, kind of like this if you want. So that's neat. And then it looks like there are some adhesive squares. So those are all, always nice to have. It looks like it's supposed to be a pop-up card kit. So it shows how, if you want to do that, but I'm just gonna throw this away because I'm not gonna use that. And then it looks like there are some punch outs. So these are basically like die cuts that I can use on my scrapbook page. So that's nice. There's quite a few of them too. And some leaves.
I love these kinds of kits because they, they're very versatile and you can use them for more than one thing. So there are envelopes in here and I'll probably save these for like when I do make cards for people. And then this is just, these are cards, but it's just basically card stock that can be used for scrapbooks. So I could save these for actual cards, but I don't think I will. I like the dotted paper and then it's like this mint green on the other side. So that will just go in my scraps, my scrapbook scraps. And then it looks like there's another one. Is this one exactly the same? It might be. Um, if it's exactly the same, I'm not gonna show it. How do you open this? Having a hard time finding it. There it is. So, yeah, I'll open it. <sighs> okay, so flowers again. Some artesip squares. I'll just stick in here with my artesips. Another instruction booklet. I'll just throw away. And then a bunch of poke outs that I think are roughly the same. They might be a little bit different. These have a bunch of butterflies. Oh, <laughs> I could have used that last week, couldn't I? With sympathy. And then like leaves and stuff. Very nice. Yeah, this one's different because this is a cardstock. It's yellow on one side and striped on the other. So this will be nice for scrapbooking. I generally, when I make cards, I have white craft um, and a couple other colors that I have card kits that I can use when I make a card. I don't usually use pattern paper for cards. Um, I will for like um, a mat or something, but I won't, I don't generally use them for, for the base of the card. And then some more envelopes that I can use when I make cards. Okay, and then she also got me a couple sticker packs. So these say, these are like travel ones. Oh, they're both travel ones. So that's nice. I can use those. Okay. So that is all the stuff from Mount Yessie. I'm gonna stick those here. And then I'll put them away later. Okay, so the next thing I'm gonna show you is a scrap bag from PG cheap, and I got, oh goodness, heavy. Is that everything? Yeah. Okay. All right. So this is Fancy Pants 2019, and it is a a mini um, scrapbook pattern paper pack. And it's called My Type. So there's like a bunch of, and it's double sided, which is nice. I think I might have one similar to this. Maybe I have the 12 by 12 of this. I'm not sure. That's nice to have. And then some puffy stickers, um, Fancy Pants Bloom and Grow collection, and some wood buttons. These are Christmas themed, they're stamped on stuff, so I'll stick these in with my December daily. There's some lace from my type, Fancy Pants. And this is Fancy Pants Simbler, Simple Summer. And these are puffy stickers. Those over there. And then it looks like I got a bunch of kits. So that's kind of nice that they're the whole collection kit. So I got Simply Summer by Fancy Pants. And these are all the different card stocks that are in there. And it comes with enamel dots and the, here, I suppose I can open these. Oh, 
goodness. Okay, so we've got the enamel dots. And we've got these die cuts. All summer themed. And then double-sided paper cardstock, which is really nice. So we've got this floral. This is called Simply Floral. And this is like a yellow gingham. Two of those. This is called On the Porch. So this is a wood grain. And this is a floral. There's two of those. This is Sweet Memories. And then this is the bag. And there's two of those. And this is called Write It Down. Oh, this would be cute. For a school page. Like, school's out for summer. And then this is a very, very light blue. of those. Ooh, I love this one. I love plaids a lot. So this is called Summer Celebration. And then stars on the back. There's two of those. This is called Making Waves. So it's like a pinstripe. And a pink. That's it for that. There's two of those. The second paper I got is Solid Paper Sampler, Sampler Lake Life. Let's take a look at this. So this I assume is just like double-sided cardstock. This is by Fancy Pants too. I don't know if all of this is fancy pants. I think so. I think it is. Okay. So, this is a light blue and a red. If you can see it. And it looks like there's two of those. There's a brown and like a forest green. There's two of those. There is a golden rod and a navy blue. This is a solid paper sampler, my type from Fancy Pants. So it must be the solid paper pack for the kits. So this is blooming. This first one was, no, that was Lake Life. Okay, so this is my type, which I think I got quite a few other pieces of this collection. Um, And embellishments okay so this is red and light blue I like this color red this is probably my favorite color red oh something fell on the floor this is pink it's almost a lavender it's kind of a purpley pink and navy blue there's two of those. These are from 2021, if you're wondering about the date. Um, and then this one's black and gray. It's, it's almost white. It's barely 
barely gray. It's a very light gray. Okay. So this is the Bloom and Grow collection from Fancy Pants. I'll just open that and show. With it. So we got the enamel dots. And then you got the ephemera pack. What's in the ephemera pack? There's lots of different things. And then, so it looks like you got one red solid sheet. Oh, okay. This is called multi dots. So it's dot on one side and this solid red on the other. This one is called, move that, that's just the advertisement, um, Bird Houses, it's called, so you've got like a pinstripe and Bird Houses. And there's two of those. This one is called Seed You Soon. It's a solid pink, and these are seeds, seed packets. This is called Baby Buds. There's a golden red or yellow color, and then they're basically flower buds. I really like that side, that's pretty. I'm drawn to the color yellow. I'm drawn to the colors yellow and orange. Probably because they're bright colors. Um, and I always have been. But I like all the colors of the rainbow. I don't think there's a color I really don't like. Um, I don't particularly like wearing the color brown. Um, I will wear it. I do have some brown items in my wardrobe. But um, I don't wear it very often. I think that it just washes me out color wise there's a couple other colors that wash me out and make me look weird um but because i'm very pale um this is called wouldn't it be nice so there's leaves on here this like greenish color this light green doesn't particularly look good on me either um and then a wood grain I have this really pretty like mint green shirt and I, it was so pretty and I tried wearing it a number of times and I looked terrible in it. Like it fit me fine. It looked good on me. The thing was is the coloring of it just like totally washed me out. I looked like I was sick every single time I was in it. I looked like I was like ill. Um, this is called Let It Grow. It's a green. And then there's a lot of plants. I might have other paper like this. Whoa, there goes my tripod. My tripod just fell off my table, sorry. Sorry about that, that was not planned. That was a blooper. But I'm not gonna start it over again and I'm not gonna cut it and edit it out because I do not have time for that. There are other channels that are particular about that. I am not. I don't have time to edit. And my goal is not to have a perfect video. Um, this is Fancy Pants A Little Scary by Renee Looney. And these are puffy stickers. Those are really cute. Very cute. And this is called Cozy Christmas, which will definitely go in my... December daily. Whoops. Looks like I got some pom poms with that too. So this is a Halloween. This is called a little scary. Um, I don't normally use pom poms on my scrapbook page, but I might string them together for a little garland for a decor item. So that might be cute. Okay. 
So this is the last kit that I got. And then I'll show you what I got from Scott for Christmas. So I got these for, from Scott for, Chris, for Christmas like I always do. Um, generally what I do is <laughs> when I get the email from the club saying that like, or the, the email from like PG Cheap or from Freckled Fawn, I tell him, I'm like, I got the email for the grab bag and he'll be like, go ahead and order it. And then it comes in the mail and then it never gets opened. It just like, so I don't see what's in it. This when I open it for the first time, it's the first time that I see it. So it just stays closed in the box that it came in and he wraps it up for Christmas for me. Um, and that's just what he's done for the past four years. Um, usually he, he will get me like one other item besides these two things. Um, and, but this year he really surprised me with what he got me. And he usually does pick stuff out of the Amazon cart. I will add stuff to the Amazon cart like throughout the year. And so do the kids too. Other people do too. We just, we just kind of have like a family account and like everybody just kind of like adds stuff to the cart if they want it. And it's really easy when it's like birthday shopping time or Christmas shopping time because all we have to do is go to the Amazon cart and we can see like what people want. So, you know, or what like, like um, Hunter and Jordan all add stuff to the cart for like the kids for the like for the grandkids and that makes it so easy because I can go on there and I can say oh they need this and this and this you know and then I can just order it you know for like birthdays and Christmas and stuff because we don't buy a lot of stuff um at other times of the year unless it's like um sometimes I'll see something like a choking device you know to prevent choking in a baby or toddler and I'll be like oh they really need that and so I'll order it for them or something you know so that kind of stuff um these are cozy Christmas enamel dots so I'm gonna stick that in my December daily thing and then there are a bunch of embellishments these are really cute this is ephemera, so I'm going to stick this in with my stuff, too. Yeah. Um, what did Hunter want? Oh, we got the kids getting the night. The kids are spending the night tonight, yeah. too? Oh, cool. Bring, bring you back. are going to be here for your birthday, for your first birthday. Um, they're going to bring by his, George's medicine. Oh, good, because he's really stiff. He really needs his bed. They were with the halfway point for their grandma. Exchange. Oh, how they oh that's why they were Can they we went to champagne. Hi. Hi, Squishy. <laughs> um, we'll have to make him a special breakfast tomorrow for his first birthday. I gotta think about this. I gotta look at my party supplies and see if I have any leftover party hats or anything. Hmm. When I'm done with the video, we gotta think about your first birthday tomorrow. So we can make it special. Well, it's a good thing you don't have surgery tomorrow. Okay, so this is called Rudolph's Run. It's like a dot. Ooh, that's pretty. So this is like a sweater. So this is just going to go up here. I'm going to set it aside. Well, that's kind of nice. Maybe they're going to prep for his birthday party, but tomorrow morning I get to have him and that is going to be so much fun because I can make him a special breakfast for his birthday. Although I don't have any birthday presents for him yet. Well, I'm sure they're going to have a first birthday party, so I need to go shopping. We bought Christmas presents, but no birthday presents, so. Um, naughty or nice. And that's like a wood grain. This reminds me of like a fort, like a Hansel and Gretel forest. I don't know why. 
So there's two of those. And then walk in the woods. Oh, that's pretty. This reminds me of like, like campers in the 19, early 80s maybe. Like camper trailers, like what the furniture was covered with. It just remembers. We used to have like a camper when I was a kid. And like this reminds me of that, like the fabric that's on like camping stuff. And some pine. There's two of those. This is called plaid tidings. So this is like a corduroy. Ooh, this is pretty. And a really pretty plaid. Gotta love a good plaid. So. Nice. And then this is under the mistletoe. This mistletoe? Is that what mistletoe looks like? I don't know. I don't know that I've ever seen real mistletoe. I mean, I guess I've seen the berries. Like, I've seen it hung up before, but I've never bought it. We've never had mistletoe in our house, I don't think. I mean, if we have, it's been a while because I don't remember. I know I never, it's not something that I buy. I don't buy, buy poinsettias either. I think I've gotten them as gifts before, but I don't buy poinsettias. Um, I have some fake ones on the tree, though. Um, checking it twice. So, this is a floral. See, some of these backgrounds, like, I wouldn't necessarily think that this is Christmas. It is red and green, but it just doesn't scream Christmas to me. This does, this buffalo check. Um, but, yeah, this, I don't know why they would put that on the back, but I guess it's for those people that don't celebrate Christmas. Not everybody celebrates Christmas, so. Um, okay, so I'm going to put this in my December daily. That's ready to go. And that's about it, other than my big gift that I got. Okay, so I'm going to just stick this up. And I'll probably just stick this in my card stock, like with my, with my paper. Okay, so my big present this year that has been in my cart for a couple of years and I did not expect is this. I have wanted a Canon selfie for a really long time. Like, goodness, I don't even know how long it's been in my cart, to be honest in the Amazon cart. But I've wanted one for a really long time. I normally order my photos through, well, I used to order them through Walgreens and um, and then I started, I switched to Walmart um, a while ago. And then um, just Walgreens was getting way too expensive. And then, um, but it would be nice to just like, especially with my December daily, it would be nice to be able to just like print out one photo from each day that I want like right away. Um, so yes. Hunter's wondering, Hunter and Jordan are wondering, did they leave the G Jordan's G tube here? What do you mean his G tube? He has a J. He has a J tube here. He, they're looking for the G tube. Um, I'm gonna have to look in the diaper bag. Do you know what it looks like? No, I do not. It's got a white, like, it's got a white tip on it. Um, it would be in that bag that's by his buffalo, or by his kangaroo joey. That gray, that gray diaper bag. It would be in there. It's got a white tip on it. I'm almost done. Let me finish this video and then, and then I'll look for it. Tell him I'll call him right back. So, 
I don't know. I haven't had this out yet, so I don't really necessarily know what it looks like. I assume it's black, like that picture. Um, it looks like there is a DVD to watch and a big thick book to read. So before I use it, I'm going to have to like learn how to use it, like read, do research and, you know, study up on how to use it properly. But I also got a pack of ink cartridge and 108 sheets of photo paper. And it looks like I got two of these. So I got two packs. So I'll be set. Definitely have enough for my December daily. Um, and then some. So I'm excited to try it. Um, I've heard good things about it. I don't know. It's got Apple AirPrint. So that's kind of neat that it like will hook to my phone like easily and should be user friendly I would assume so but that shocked me <laughs> that I got that um so that's it that's the end of the video um I hope you guys have a happy new year um I like I said I'm not going to be starting this um December daily for another week for sure um just because this week is so incredibly busy and then like you know, if we get to have Esmeralda here this weekend, I'm really going to want to spend the entire weekend visiting with her and celebrating Christmas with her and the new year and stuff like that. So, um, I wish you all a belated Merry Christmas and a Happy New Year. So, hopefully 2023 is a good year. I'm crossing my fingers. I know that I say that every year, but, but man, I'm due for a good, a good year. Let's just say that a lot of people are due for a good year. So, um, yeah, so take care and thanks for watching. Bye.